If you like using three monitors or if you need to work in a very efficient way with a lot of tabs and apps opened at the same time, the KYY X9A might be a really helpful monitor setup for your laptop. And today we're going to take a look at that, including the pros and the cons. So let's talk about that. This is Hubwood. Now, working with three monitors at once can come in very handy, but for laptops, that's usually not that easy, especially if you're on the go and taking your laptop with you. So this is where portable double monitor attachments like this X90A by KYY can really help you out and they are super easy to use as well. Let me just show you what we're actually talking about today. So these are the two screens in their folded state. So we can just quickly open that up. And then at the back of here, we open the stand. And we adjust it a little bit. And now we place the laptop just right in between. Adjust the angle of the screens. And while we're at it, this model here works best with 12 to 16 inch laptops because bigger laptops might block a bit of the screens here. And in the case of my Gigabyte Aorus 15 gaming laptop, I wouldn't even need to use the included AC power adapter because it can be powered via USB directly from the laptop if it can provide 3 ampere at 5 volt, which is translated to 15 watt. So all we have to do now is plug the USB cable into the monitor and into my laptop at the same time. So one second. Click and the screen should light up. Turning on, et voila, and that's it. It's that easy to set it up. So the monitor stand is actually not really attached to your laptop and therefore it's not damaging or tiring your laptop's monitor as you just directly place your laptop in front of the stand instead. And just one note when folding it again, I would suggest using this black protection layer so when you use the handle at the back to grab the monitor, you won't touch or damage the screen surface on one of the screens, which otherwise could happen. Because you use your hand and you can grab it here. And if you're not using this foam, you would directly touch the screen. Okay, now let's talk a bit about the technical details of these two screens. The whole package weighs two kilogram and considering the size, it's pretty much between a 14 and a 15 inch laptop while being a bit thicker with 3.2 centimeter in height when folded. Once set up, the two 14 inch screens do need some space on the sides, as you can see here. But since you can adjust the angle, you can probably make it work even on smaller tables. Both screens are IPS screens with a resolution of 1920 by 1080p, aka Full HD at 60 Hz. And the measured color accuracy is 79% for the sRGB and only 57% for the NTSC color space. But let's be reasonable, you'd probably get screens like that for efficiency and having more apps open at the same time rather than using them for color sensitive stuff. Now KYY claims that the maximum brightness is 300 nits, which I was only able to achieve when I tinkered around a bit first with the screen's black levels and the contrast via the OSD menu. Um, as straight out of the box, I was only able to measure 210 nits. So keep that in mind because you most likely wouldn't want to be stuck with only 210 nits. In order for your laptop to recognize the displays, you actually need to install some drivers first, either using the included USB stack or downloading the newest version from the KYY website. Now that might seem a bit odd, but the great benefit from that is that your laptop actually does not need to support video out over USB, as the monitors will also work on regular USB ports without DisplayPort or HDMI support. I've tested that on an older shabby HP laptop we have laying around and it worked just perfectly fine. So after the driver setup, Windows and or OS X for Apple as well, is just going to recognize the screens as normal screens and you can just adjust the resolution and the arrangement of the screens. You can even use them for Android, but I'm not sure about Linux, in which case you'd probably need to contact the manufacturer upfront and check if that will work. 
And if you're really into long tables or need to scroll a lot, you could actually set up the screens like this to use them as a single vertical screen as well for that, well, more vertical content. The used material for the whole case probably is some kind of aluminum alloy, which makes the whole thing feel valuable and actually quite sturdy. And the build quality is really nice as well, though it is easily attracting fingerprints, like really easily. The hinges at the sides allow for some adjustment considering the angle of the two screens and they make a super sturdy impression, though you will need quite some force to adjust them to your needs. <sighs> The two screens have identical OSD menus, which have a huge variety of adjustment options, like everything you will ever need, and they are okay to use, while the menu navigation itself could be a bit more intuitive. And an important note, if you unplug the monitors for a little more than just a few seconds, they will reset to the factory settings, meaning you'd have to reapply any adjustments you made in the OSD menu. Transporting the X90A is rather easy. You could probably fit the whole package together with your laptop either in a backpack or a, a bit thicker laptop case. The price for this version, the X90A, is around $320 on Amazon.com, while you can get the cheaper X90 version for only $230 if you're not needing the compatibility with Apple products. And I will post the links in the description. Now, overall, the usability and the additional comfort is good, and considering the build quality and the good energy efficiency, I'd really consider using one of these if I would need to work on the go and be more flexible with um, additional monitors. Though I wish they would be a bit brighter without the need to first tinker around with them. Now, for full disclosure, KYY sent me this review unit, but I'm not getting paid for the review, and they didn't give me, like, any rules for the video and didn't tell me what to say at all. But that's all for today and if you like the content make sure to either hit that subscribe button or leave a thumbs up, that helps a lot. And if you didn't like it for God's sake, leave a thumbs down. Either way, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye bye and cheers.